Everton versus Liverpool. Liverpool 1.64, draw 4.3, and Everton 6.25. Uh, some of you out there are trend betters, and the last, I think it's three head-to-heads, they met, they met three times in uh, 2018, two Premier League matches went under 1.5 goals, uh, nil-nil, and then the time before that, one-nil to Liverpool and, at Anfield. Do we follow trend, or has Liverpool just got too many goals in them at the moment? So, uh, Alex, is the trend our friend in this one? Uh, I'm not the trend guy no i i'm using stats also but maybe 15 percent of uh, my betting uh, stuff uh, are into stats but the eight the, the rest 80 85 percent are watching matches knowing players knowing teams knowing everything about them seeing how they're they're playing uh, so no i'm not following trend in this one uh Liverpool and over 1.5 goals at 1.95 for me. I think that uh, it will be an exciting match. I think that uh, Liverpool uh, again uh, will try to, to to keep a clean sheet, but they have goals in them. They can score at least two goals on their own. 15 goals, and I have seen an important stats if we are talking about stats here. Uh, Liverpool conceded 15 goals this season, but they kept 16 clean sheets. How is that even possible? <laughs> uh, Sean Mack is saying, who is covering Cheltenham horse racing? I do not think we may, we may just be in time for, um, uh, for, for Cheltenham. Um, I think it starts on the 15th. Um, we've got uh, Martin Green will be covering the whole event um, uh, with articles over at Odds Market. We are right now uh, just building up a big plan of tackling. We're looking at um, the jockeys, um, the trainers, uh, we're picking the four top um, uh, races as well. So that all is all going to be covered starting next week. And then um, come March 15th, um, we will then obviously have like a daily uh, bet rate horse racing betting coverage as well. Um, if it's in time, obviously, we will get uh, Martin Green. Um, and uh, we have one other guest as well who you guys do not know yet. So uh, stay tuned. <laughs> Exciting, exciting. You, you know your horse racing, Natalie. Jokies and stuff. Well, wow. I, I've literally spent <laughs> night and day for the past two days working on our Cheltenham horse racing plan. Yes, I do now. No. Cheltenham is the big one. Cheltenham is the big one. Everyone can't wait to Cheltenham. Two weeks Tuesday. It's going to be Cheltenham amazing. I have Cheltenham coming out of my ears. I literally am running on a couple of hours sleep because <laughs> I want to kill Cheltenham with our coverage. I just want to make sure that we give give our viewers basically everything they possibly need to bet and make money on Cheltenham. So that's what I've been working on. Yes. Um, all right. So, okay. So, uh, Liver sorry, what, what, were you, what were you going for, Russ? Um, I think there'll be goals. Unlike the Merseyside derby at Anfield that was quite cagey, uh, which Everton actually played quite well. And obviously Liverpool got that late, late goal. Origi when Pickford pushed it onto the bar, it bounced down and Origi headed it in. I think there will be goals in this one. I think trends over the over the past I think four or five years, there are usually more goals in the Derby at Goodison than there are at Anfield. So I'm going 3.4 Liverpool to win and both teams to score. This is a massive game for Liverpool. Mm, um, I know. It's 5-0 win over Watford. Again, great result for Liverpool, especially when people are saying, are the nerves settling in? Look, they put the nerves to rest. Mane, Van Dijk, um, Trent's come back, a fullback for Liverpool. So they've got their two best fullbacks uh, in place. Van Dijk's back, Alisson in defence. Um, Everton at home, they've been really, really average this year. Make no mistake, mm. there's been gaps all over the park. I think Spurs scored five or six. Um, and I don't, think, I don't think Everton have done much to sort out their defence in recent weeks when they play decent teams. So Liverpool will go there. They will need to attack. Uh, and I think they'll score plenty of goals. I think Everton can nick one as well. So, yeah, that 3.4 Liverpool to win and both teams to score. Let's go with that one. Yeah, nice odds as well. I'm just really nervous. It will. It, it's the end of Liverpool's title race if they lose this match. They cannot afford to lose it. Yeah. Um, for me, it's just a, a pass. I get nervous with these derbies, I have to say. 